it. Still in St. Lucia. Beautiful, beautiful St. Lucia. I'm at a property I've already done a video for, and incredibly, I was about to say good morning, but I'm bang on midday, and it's three seconds to midday. So, good afternoon. Right. Lovely sea breeze. Now, the owner's not in situ anymore. He's got it long-term rented, which means it's actually some of the maintenance that's probably required here hasn't been done, as often happens with long-term rentals. We're looking at a four-bedroom home, and to the left, behind the tree, very well positioned, Alex. Thank you very much. Is a one-bedroom cottage with some lovely views, and then staff quarters or the husband's dog house when he gets kicked out of the main house. You can see things I've made since, for instance, it's missing a, a spire there and the sunshine. Sitting on half an acre of land, unless I've got it wrong, but most of the detail is in the description that already exists online. Um, we're only up here because we just simply can't find the original video. So we're going in, as I say, it's a lived-in home. The housekeepers are here today, so you just have to bear that in mind. Please look through bits and pieces. Okay. And I have to shout, okay. Oh, you caught them in the, in the mirror anyway, after all of that. <laughs> I caught myself in the mirror, so again I lose. Right, as I say, it's a lived-in home. It's a lived-in home, so you, you know, the cleaning supplies and the washing and the this and that. You know, what can I tell you guys? It, it is what it is. I'm sorry about that. You'd have to try and see through that to some degree. Got a nice coral render. It's got this sort of old-school charm about it. These wonderful roof lines, these different roof lines and levels and what have you. But again, it's a bit untidy in here. No. Can't do it. A classic looking. What do they call it there? An armoire. Oh, bonjour, moi. So, first bedroom, en suite. I remember mid and late, very late 90s in Barbados, Royal Westmoreland used this sort of high, high uh, tiling, sort of five to six foot and then they would finish it off in the coral render. It's a lovely contrast. It looks, it's not blue again. I'm not gonna go through that again with you guys. It's the black and white balance and the blue and the LED light and the, oh my goodness, so. Uh, down lights here again in this room, fan and air conditioning. Again, you see, if it was me, this is what I mean about when I mentioned, I think it was in this video, because I had to restart the video, um, that I, I would suggest You'd need to throw about 30, 40 US at this to really bring it up. Uh, you know, and I don't mean things like, I'll oh, change all the tiling. I mean, we've just come out of a room where the fan was really, really close to the ceiling. You know, that needs extended, which then probably means you won't get that style of fan anymore because it's an older fan, which means changing the fan and so on and so on. And that happens a lot in the Caribbean. This is a master bedroom. <clears throat> it's actually very nice. It's an old school type design where they, they have such a big room that they split it in a, in a manner that I think is slightly unnatural, but very popular and does actually work very well because what's the point of losing all of that space? Got two cupboard areas to the right and to the left, stating the obvious. You've got this little dresser table here. And then you go through to a charming and nicely appointed um, bathroom. Freestanding bath, love that. I must say I love that. There was a house, uh, a friend of mine, Frasier, designed and built a house in Barbados. And he's got one of those cut doors, just because he can. <laughs> Big nod to you, Frasier, if you see this video. See if I can avoid that mirror. Absolutely lovely shower. I've got to say, if you've got his and her sinks, I would have thought you'd have his and her showers, but it wouldn't be hard to do. <laughs> it always feels like a walk-through shower. I don't know. These things amuse me when I think about them, and then I say them out loud and realise I should filter a little bit more regularly. Very high ceilings in here. Now, for any of you that are thinking in the Caribbean, well, I don't really want to paint the ceiling white, would that be what the English call naff? Um, no. It works. It absolutely works. Right, master goes out to here. Very loud. Obviously, power washing next door. 
Martinique in the distance. I've been raging about that all morning. It's a really clear day. It's absolutely lovely. Very cool. Very, very cool. There's been quite a lot of rain in the Caribbean the last few days and it's making all the pools cloudy. I don't quite know why, I don't know the technical reason, but I know it does happen. Cottage is over there. I don't have keys to the cottage, very frustrating. Um, but there are photographs and I will come back another day and do it when everything is looking tickety-boo, as they say. This is a bit special. I mean, it's not a kind of beach that I think a load of people would want to go down to, but the fact that you've got that at the bottom of your hill, this sort of lagoon type, feel down there. Absolutely gorgeous. To relax here and look across at, at, at the sort of the hills and the mountains of Martinique is so special. So you're at the north end of the island, facing north, and um, Cap Estate. Well, it can't be ahead of you, it's behind you. So you're surrounded by Cap Estate, the Gulf of Cap Estate. Now, Cap Estate Gulf has now been taken over by Sandals, which I actually think is a pity, because a lot of people would come to St. Lucia for golf. Um, but there is another golf course or two, I actually think, being developed as we speak. Again, please, I'm trying to avoid some of the untidiness, and not just because you guys can't see through it, but because, you know, it's the gentleman's, the tenant's gentleman's, uh, private affairs, so I'm, I'm trying, trying to sort of try to run an avoidance. Not easy. I've got to say, guys, not easy. But then again, I'm not blaming him, by the way, so if he ever watches this video, please don't think that I'm finger pointing or complaining. I am not. Air conditioning and fan in this room as well, but again, I am 99% sure anyone who spends the kind of money that is being asked for this property will not retain those fans or those air conditioning units. Try to get those doors open as well. So you've got two bedrooms at the front. Obviously, this one is smaller. The, the four in here are all en suite. The master and this particular bedroom open out onto the terrace. Windows are a bit dirty. And again, if when the housekeepers watch this video, not complaining, just saying. Oh, sorry, missed the R-suite bathroom. Okay, very much that Royal Westmoreland type finish where you have uh, tiling to a point and very stylish tiling to a point and then it changes into the natural a lot of places now have tiling for the whole height but as this has superb heights it, it, it not sure it makes sense and it feels a bit boxy as well so I'm going to go out to the terrace I'm going to do a quick spin by the by the guest cottage I remember the guest cottage because it was newer than the house. I remember it being in very good condition back when I last did this video. But as I say, I don't have keys. And I'm told that because it's just become like a storage room, as he's only renting the house, um, it's a little bit untidy. Very quiet up here. I love the fact that you can hear the waves crashing. walk down here a bit. This I did not do last time. It's amazing, there's quite a lot of rain in, in this part of the Caribbean and yet this part of the island feels quite arid. Just trying to give you an idea of how it feels. Land stops here, stating the obvious. You can probably hear the sea. I joined the Navy to see the world. And what did I see? I saw the sea. Oh, bit of seaweed at the moment. That tends to come and go. Very nice. So the details should all be on screen, and I hope we hear from you soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>